hi guys welcome to a quick guide for money to app light so i'm peter and i developed this money to app light like a light version to money to app and i'm going to tell you within a few minutes how you can use the all features and algorithms which are part of this app this app is dedicated to online roulette with the random number generators in all online casinos it doesn't matter it's not dedicated to normal roulette but i think it's simply a digital tool so therefore i expect and you will use it for play with online roulette my aim was to develop money to app light simply create something what is simply to use works quickly precisely and everyone can use it for his or her profit target so how it works here you can enter just by clicking the numbers what currently you receive from online casino you can un just click the mouse or you can enter it on a keyboard as well if you want to generate some random numbers you can enter 20 and press the button RNG and you just generated 20 random numbers for your sequence this part is a money management so if you say I want to play my four numbers 40 spins in two levels it means then you will play 28 spins your progression your progression is based on these fields here so you are saying I will start betting 20 cents on one number and if I go down with my stack then I will use 4.2% in this case you can always change it to whatever you like 3% or 5% it's up to you and I will increase my base bet based on that maximum base bet means and you will never ever bet more than five units dollars a euro on one number and variance from average coefficient means and if you go through your 28 spins progression in this case you can always change the spins and levels of course but in this case we have a 28 spins in total for progression then and this progression is not successful then you multiply your base bet with four which means you will start next progression with the base bet 80 cents these fields are informing you about what's going on with your betting so i will now generate additional seven numbers random numbers so and if i click one more i receive a prediction so keep in mind that everything is connected to 37 numbers so you have to always enter first 37 numbers which you generated from online casino and once you do that you immediately receive a prediction if your condition is okay and meeting the criteria for algorithms i will come back to you shortly very quickly so this is the part you see i receive four numbers and on these four numbers i will bet these figures here saying then for example number nine didn't hit 21 spins so far number 19 six spins so you see then number 19 is here in our sequence and last six spins didn't hit a person that shows uh, expectation so expectation can be 100 percent or more so you see then number 28 didn't hit in last 37 spins therefore there is expectation 100 percent because we expect that every number should hit in 37 spins which we know in reality is never the case but this is expectation giving you the idea about the number itself risk row ratio showing you how many times your progression won or lost as well Session bankroll for your currently if you play these four numbers, let's calculate the session bankroll, bankroll overall. If you for example have risk have a risk roll ratio of five to zero, five times we won and no loss. So bankroll will show you the total sum of your winnings. Drawdown, what was the maximum drawdown during our session and maximum session base bet we know then we limit it to five, so it will never be more than five. These two fields I also used during a play. Session base bet is showing you how much you should bet on the number if you go further in your progression. So it doesn't matter then your base bet is 20 cents. There will be increasing session base bet, so 30 cents, 40 cents and so on. And this amount you should bet on each number. Session spins sh showing you where you are in your progression. So 
if you said I want to play two times 40 spins so it's counting to 14 if you reach 14 in a first level then it's resetted to zero and here will be one because we burn one level and now come back to algorithms there are three options for algorithms so option currently selected is TP and this field 16 is used like a condition for both non-hit trigger and TP Gitch needs no parameter it's automatic without any parameter so TP is using this column TP and we are saying whenever there is a fixed pattern which will reach your parameter in this case 16 it's qualified for game and we are looking for the highest possible TP value and in this case is 22 and you see then we receive a prediction for 9, 19, 29 and 28 because this fixed pattern has the highest TP value 22 doesn't matter then these two are also qualified 4 and 5 but the highest one is 22 therefore we are playing this fixed pattern this is how the TP works you can of course change it to 100 or whatever you like you have to experiment a little bit what are the best values for your algorithm and it's connected to spins here so if you change the spins to something else like 3 or 20 you will see then also different values of TP will be here so therefore always connect the spins with the let's say condition here if I and everything is automatically changing if you decide during a game I wanna play with the gitch I wanna play with non hit trigger you can do it anytime and you will immediately receive prediction based on different algorithm so let's say I will now select gitch enter one number and you see immediately I receive a new prediction because gitch is using different idea for algorithm so now we should bet on these four numbers and also the values changed of course if we win then you see then risk score ratio is one we lost zero times bankroll is in plus and this was a small drawdown which we had and maximum session base bet so when we receive again this prediction as we go further you see then numbers are changing so be careful you can change numbers can change anytime so every single spin your numbers can change so be careful and always bet on a numbers which you receive so doesn't mean then if you receive these four numbers and you will play them forever 28 spins no you can change any spin so be careful and always follow the prediction if i now press 7 so we won again our bankroll increased and so on so if i now change the algorithm to non-hit trigger i'm not saying then waiting for 16 you'll see currently nothing changed the reason is then non-hit trigger works a little bit different than the others so we are saying then if we reach in this column non hit 16 then the our fixed pattern is qualified for game but still not predicted because we are saying these are the qualified algorithms over 16 non hit so which means this pattern 1 11 21 31 pattern also this one number 3 13 and so on and also 8 and these are three qualified and once one of these numbers will hit then we start betting on this fixed pattern I will show you now I'm saying then number 8 will come and you see what happened so this pattern was qualified because non hit was higher than 16 spins and we are maybe surprised and there is no <laughs> exactly 8 18 28 and 2 yes it's not because there is a, again special selection I always take the first two numbers from the fixed pattern 8 18 plus the second one are dynamically selected based on the family pattern numbers so and they can also change so we can see now we are going to play we won and you see then currently there is no prediction why because several patterns are, are qualified like 1 11 3 and 13 when this is 33 and also number 4 and if I now saying number 4 will come then you will see immediately we receive a prediction for number 4 and 14 plus 2 family pattern numbers are dynamically selected for a game and we are going to play this is how the non-hit trigger works so it's not only enough then your non-hit will reach this value but also need to hit one of these four numbers 
and then you will start betting on this dynamic selection the last part of the app is normal distribution so it shows normal distribution in last 37 spins so normally it, it looks then it's a green color if it is green so numbers are distributed normally based on statistics and probability if it is red it means then a lot of numbers came in the last 37 spins which means you can expect that some numbers will repeat and if it is blue like now so it means then a lot of numbers repeated so you can expect then these numbers these numbers are 60 numbers didn't hit you see in the last 37 spins and these 60 numbers is here are here so therefore you can expect then some of them will hit soon because normal distribution will be somewhere in the ranges between 12 to 15 like a green so i generate now i've generated several random numbers exactly seven you see then something is going on i already won already five times and my bankroll increased now you see then the color is changed to green which means now we are in a normal distribution how it normally is but whenever you see the extreme you can expect if it is blue you can expect numbers which didn't hit will come and if it is red you can expect then some numbers start to repeat this is how it works you can of course run thousands thousand random spins and test your strategies test your ideas about the money management i think it's really simplified so you have three algorithms these two are sharing tp and non-hit trigger are sharing this parameter they work a little bit different way but i explained it and gitch needs nothing just select the gitch and you receive a prediction based on the gitch so i would say thank you very much i'm going through this very quick guide and i'll be happy if you decide to use mine to apply it you can find everything and all information also my success stories with this app on my website money2app.com so i also record my youtube channel my live sessions which i play with the app so far going pretty well so thank you very much for watching and see you at the tables right bye bye